So we are with Leo, and Leo's carrying out what test for us, Leo? The insulation resistance test. You are, the insulation resistance. Before you started doing the test, however, what must you ensure is happening in circuit? Uh, that all the switches are on and that all the covers are on. And that's really key. We've actually put all the socket switches on in order that the insulation resistance gets to the front plate. Yeah. Which voltage are you going to pass through the circuit? 500 volts. Will that be AC or DC? That'll be DC. It will be. And because it's a brand new installation, Leo, yeah. what's the smallest acceptable value of insulation it's resistance? 20 mega ohms. It is. And if it was an existing installation you were testing? It'd be 1 mega ohms. Okay, what does mega stand for? Million. It does. Shall we carry out the test? Yep. Yeah. Can you tell us what reading you've got? I've got over 999 mega ohms. Good, excellent. In order to carry out the test, you've also left the RCCB in which position? In the off position. Because it contains what that could be damaged uh, during this test? Mechanical devices, electronic devices in oh, it. Okay, good, yeah. Was that the installation resistance test completed? Yes, it is. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. So this time I'm here with Ben. So what are we up to, Ben? We're putting the line conductor into the top of the MCB. Okay. Uh, is there anything you're going to need to do when you're doing that? We're going to need to torque it up to the correct settings of newton meters, which okay. on the newer breakers are stated on the side. 2.3 newton meters of torque. That's really handy, isn't it, to have it on the side of the yeah. breaker. Are you set up with your torque screwdriver? Yeah, this is already set up to two. Okay, let's drop in. 2.3 or 2.3. 2.3. It says on there 2.3, so let's crack it in at 2.3 then, Ben. Is it exactly the same for the neutral and earth bars, Ben? No, the neutral and earth bars are 1.7 newton meters of torque. Okay, so they're different. Okay, and where did you find that information out from for the neutral and earth it bars? It comes on uh, instructions of the um, board. Okay, brilliant. Thank you. So I'm here with Cade, and Cade's just about getting ready to do one of the tests. Which tests are you getting ready to carry out for us? Continuity of CPC and polarity. Okay, which two conductors are we going to link together first? The line and neutral. Okay, do we record that reading in our test paperwork? No. It's no, part of what test, Cade? The polarity. It is. Which two conductors are you going to link together next? The line and CPC. Okay, do you record that reading? Yes. I've also noticed that you've left the floy lead out at every socket outlet. Can you explain why you've done that? That's because the metal back box, the metal coupler, and the metal trunking create a parallel earth path. Okay, and when we're testing, we want to prove that the CPC in circuit is continuous during that test. Is that yeah, correct? Yeah, that is. Well done, Kate. Okay, brilliant. Cheers. Thank you. Year one, level three apprentices. We've just got the apprenticeship frameworks back to Team Electrical. So that's me, Matt, Marcus, and Joe, and they're currently working with the apprenticeship frameworks. We hadn't done that for six years, and it's been a really good pleasure. It was really interesting to see them applying the techniques that me and Marcus laid out in order to make a flat 90 degree bend. And we hope that we'll get some more videos from them in the future. But for now, we hope this video has been some help. <laughs>